Hello and welcome back to another episode of Youth in Service. I'm your humble host, Idris Tauta, and you know I'm not always alone. I'm with Rhoda. Rhoda, can you introduce yourself? To Hello, me? good afternoon. Hello, good day and welcome to another interesting episode of Youth in Service brought to you from NTA Bell Kuta Star Time Channel 103. So today with me we have a beautiful guest in our midst. So I would like our guest to introduce herself. So please introduce yourself. Alright, good day everyone. My name is Iyanu Luwa Owadasha. Okay, Iyanu. So today um we have Iyanu Luwa Owadasha with us today and she'll be talking about right attitude to work um to work among you so um we'll go on a short break and when we come back we'll, we'll dig into the topic for today welcome back and, you have just, and if you are just joining us this is youth in service brought to you from nta Belkuta. and today's topic will be right attitude to work among youth so with us today is yano lua and We'll be asking Iyanu Lua a question. So Iyanu, are you ready for us today? Yes, I am definitely ready okay. for you. Um, my first question is this. Can you tell us what right attitude to work means? Right attitude to work is, to my understanding, means devoting yourself to work that you're doing. Right attitude to work. Part of examples of right attitude to work is getting early to work, being diligent in whatever work you'll be given to execute, not that you're just going there and not doing anything. Your right attitude to work is coming early, be punctual, actually have um, your own way of also imputing something positive, either little or in a big way for whatever thing or wherever you are working. Uh, um, thank you, Ian Oliver, for that answer. And my question is kind of related, so we like to say you answered it, but I'll still ask anyways. Um, what are the traits of right attitude to work, to work? What are the things you would do that people know that, yes, this guy has the right attitude to work? Okay, like, it's as if I've answered it yes, <laughs> with the said. first one. Yes, traits that is showing that you have the right attitude to work. Like I've said, punctuality is number one. Punctuality is the key in whatever thing you want to do. You need to be punctual in whatever thing you need to do. Then another um, example, another trait is that you are whatever, even if it's a little thing that they give to you to actually work on, make sure that it comes out excellently well. The moment that thing comes out well, they will have to give kudos to that. Okay, wow, this even with this little thing that we have given unto you, you've been able to actually bring something good out of it. So that's a trait of of um, of hard work of um, showing the right attitude to work. Okay, thank you, Ian Ulua. So, my own question is this. You say, can right attitude, right attitude to work, can it affect your relationship with your co-workers or people around you? Yes, your right attitude can affect, yes. But it can be negative and can be positive. So, I want you to talk about the negative Okay. The okay, let me use uh, the negative part. I am going to cite an example. It's just like somebody that you know that you know this thing very well. And when you get to work, you don't even greet people that you meet at work. You just believe that because they know I know it. And um, you are just, you're just there. You're just on your own. And so there's someone else somewhere too that really does not really know that thing so well. But the person, when the person comes, the person greets, the person relates well. I tell you, when opportunity comes, they will give it to that other person that is not as good as you are. Because the point is that person still has, still relates well with other co-members, still relates well with other co-members. And so they just, they, they just naturally feel that even if this person does not know this thing, they will go to the large extent of having to teach that person that, okay, this is what we want you to do. We know you don't know how to do it well, but we will teach you. And neglect the other person that thinks he or she knows it well or knows it better, and they just let the person go. So your right attitude to work can be both negative and positive. And also, when you have right attitude to work, Generally, people will just see you and just... There might be opportunities somewhere. The moment you have right attitude to your co, to your co um, workers. And I want to say something. We should all know that we have people that are watching us. Okay. You might not know that people are watching you, but the truth is, people are watching you. You might not be watching them, but they are certainly watching you. So they'll keep looking at you. Ah, when this girl comes to work, okay, she comes early, she does this. Okay, even if she doesn't know this thing, she wants to stay to learn to do all these things. When there's an opportunity somewhere... They may have to just call you, ah, this, I think you can do this. And even if you don't want to do it, okay, yes, I can help you out in doing this. So it can actually affect positively or negatively. So the best thing to do whenever we have co-workers around is just for us to be right, we be in right attitude with everybody that we see. We should not feel too pompous. Mm, no, 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 no. It's not needed. Yeah. Um, how, the next question, Iano, how can one have the right attitude to work? How can... <laughs> A worker or a co member, or you have a right attitude to work. How can I? Yeah, we have right attitude to work. 
the way we can have right attitude to work is when we are being appreciated in whatever thing we're doing. Because the point is, the moment I am somewhere for the first time, and probably I'm not really good at something, and I want to learn, the way other people are around shows, ah, Ian, you are trying, you know, you can, but you can do this thing better than telling me, mm, what are you doing? You are doing nonsense. You are doing nonsense. And so I will feel discouraged that, ah, what is this person saying? Like, I will not jerk up my, they will not be, I will not really do it well. But the moment you will get to like, okay, encourage me, even without little thing I'm doing that, I even think I don't really know how to do it well. But that thing will at least jerk me up to also want to do better in whatever thing I'm doing. Um, um, thank you, Ian, for such point. In case you are just joining us, it's still youth in service will be right after this short break. At the count of two, one, two. Hello and welcome back to Youth in Service. In case you are just joining us, you've missed or you've not missed it us. You can also catch us on YouTube. Just search NTA Abekuta and you see Youth in Service. Well, we still have our guest with us, Yanu Lua. Yes. Yanu Lua, please, can you tell us what are the advantages and you know everything that has advantage and must have disadvantages. What are the advantages and disadvantages of right artists to work? Okay, and um, some of the advantages of right artists to work is it opens greater opportunity for one. Let me cite an example of myself. Let me use myself as an example. There was actually something that came up at a place of work. And so the first person, really, okay, my, my place of work is my culture, it's cultural center, that's where I'm serving. I'm not really good at dancing. I dance, but I'm not, because the, there are levels to dancing in cultural dances. So, but I am good at acting. So it got to a point and um, they, well, I always, I would just try and stay there to also see how they are taking these steps. Okay, I know this step. Okay, a way to get it better, know it better. So it got to a point that any time that they, because they've seeing my attitude to what I am doing, even to something that is not my thing. So anytime there is either an acting work that I want to go and do outside, they will call me first. Why do they have to call me first? I'm not, I'm not using this to brag, but I'm just citing an example. Why do they have to call me first? They have to come first because, okay, they are seeing my attitude to even something that I think that I really don't know, that I feel I really don't know how to do this thing. 
But because they are saying that, okay, this girl, she does not really know how to do this thing, but she's good at this thing. When opportunity comes, they will call me first to be like, okay, call this girl before they can call any other person to, to it. The moment they see that you have right attitude to whatever thing you're doing, people will definitely look out for you. And so, opportunity might come, it might just be an outsider that will just say, ah, this girl, uh -huh, okay, help me call her. I need her for something. I need Because I'm expressing something like that. That's why I'm using myself as an example. Because there's somebody that also came to her place of work. And so something just happened. They just said, ah, this girl, can she act? The person said, ah, she's a, she can act, though. She can do this. She can do that. The person said, okay, don't worry. I will want you to use you in my next movie. As women have been very, I just, she probably don't know how to dance. And I'm not even showing interest in the dance. They just say, oh, this one, anytime she comes to work, she will just sit down, press phone, come and charge. And when it's closing time, she will leave and go. So they will not even want to call me. They will not talk like, how, how will they even know that I even have something in me that I can deliver? So because of what I am doing, they are able to know, that, okay, anytime there's an opportunity somewhere, they will call me. Even if it's a little dance, they will say, okay, I can still do a little dance, but I might not just have length more, you understand? But at least I am growing to that level. So that's an advantage because it opens opportunity for somebody. And disadvantage is that the moment you are not, the moment you're not doing anything, where you are people just leave you and relegate you because just, even if there's something they will not call you because when you are there what's what like permit me to use the word what's your usefulness when you are there they are not seeing you do anything so they just let you be and oh no what well, you'll be hearing like, permit me to speak you'll be saying oh well, i shall feel it they can <laughs> your baby they are so funny they say ah oh god one you want you understand so they can be so funny to just let you feel very useless and so you just feel that it's not that I cannot do this thing. You are seeing, even the moment you are going to be seeing people doing it. But you'll be like, I can even do it better. But because your right, your attitude to work self is not is not accommodating, you get to work, you don't greet. You get to work, you look at everybody as if you are their boss there. She be I'm only here to serve. Am I here to do anything? That's why you'll be hearing some meaningless, futile, flimsy excuses to that you will not. So you are just there like a figure. So the advantages and disadvantages to it. Anyhow, you put yourself, favor will come in one way or the other. There might even be opportunities. People that we are seeing that they are allowing them that they are retaining them at their place of work it's not that they go to their place of work to be jokers at their place of work they are not they are not jokers they are they are people that they get to like okay say they want to um do something at their place of work they want to they they participate in things going on they see them there every time so when there are opportunities when they want to look ah oh god this 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 boy this girl she's really trying to please let's let's retain her let's do this that's because what they've seen your attitude at first so you just feel that they need to retain you they might not even want to retain you there because but one of the workers that sees that there's an opportunity outside they will call you hello idris hello rose Abby, am i correct <laughs> roda hello roda hello yano hey okay there's an opportunity somewhere okay come let's that's just it because they are seeing your attitude in what you are doing so they feel that, okay there is a thumbs up because this person will deliver excellently well so that's it it's, there's advantage and disadvantage to it thank you so much Eliane. thank you very much um in your opinion you say um right attitude to work is infectious hmm <laughs> will i say it's infectious yeah uh, yes I would say yes, it's infectious. Because the moment you see other people, the moment you have interest in something and you see other people doing it, you also want to do it. It's not that when you get there, even your boss or your boss is permitting to say that. Mm. <laughs> they are sitting down. You say if you want to. <laughs> because the moment you think you want to, they be like, ah, can it here? <laughs> Permit me to be using your rebellious by little like, can it here? You understand? So you just like, okay, if they are like this, me too. What, what will I have to show that I can do it? You also want to be like, so it's infectious. But the moment you see that, okay, they are also up and doing, you also want to be up and doing, if you really know what you are doing. You also want to be up and doing, be like, okay, yes, I also want to do this thing. I also want to join in this thing. So it's, it's infectious. But the moment you, and again, the moment you're doing something and they get to like acknowledge the fact that you're doing it well and they tell you, ah, well done, keep this up. Even if they are corrections and they, they correct you in love, they don't tell you, what nonsense have you done? Why would you do like that? You understand? But the moment when you do something, ah, wow, you really tried, but I just think that you should. You also want to, ah, thank you so much, ma. Thank you, sir. I really have, you understand? So it's, it's infectious, but because depending on the way they, they, they do to you, you'll be able to do it back to them. But in regardless, we also want to show the good part of ourselves in some certain areas. Yes, um, Ian, I want to ask a question, but I don't know how to ask. I will have to use an illustration. Okay. Let's say, a copper as the right accessible his okay. work of place is work of uh, his work of place i mean place of work. yeah our place of work we have like maybe like 
five other workers and those five workers are not are not working well they are not punctual they don't do the this thing can he affect his own right as he to work can he bring him down or can he himself be a change to to the other five members you see i will say that you know in life we are not equal that's what i will start with because the point is if i'm the only one doing something and the other five people are not doing things if i am somebody that i read people's attention around me i might want to feel that because i'll be hearing different things from them say, is she the only one you? she she thinks she she knows how to do that she want to get they want to, she want them to retain her she will, they will say a whole lot of things so if i am very if i get to catch people's word or read meaning to people's word i will want to stay low but if i'm this person i know send your papa permit me to use that <laughs> like i don't send you you don't be like what you people you just want to you can even even while you're doing your thing you can even find a way to even one of them will be kind of close to you you can even talk to and say ah why not come to work the person might even tell you reasons why he or she is not doing ah no and it's not like that too I probably it's because of one or god the way she used to react or the way she used to ah, no and it's not like that too you just you know you know people are not you call you can even be the one to advise the person so you can it's just you depending on your kind of person depending on your kind of person that's when it can really affect you or it might not affect you okay. thank you so, thank so, much. so much before the next question please um i would like to ask another one you've not still, uh, you've answered one part of the question okay. but you've not answered the other one okay the right the person with the right access to work can he can he affect others like you know the remaining five can people he that influence those, can those, he yes influence? that's why i yes i mentioned it i said that he talking to either of them it might get to know the reasons why because people don't just act for acting sake people have reasons of doing things so you might feel that these people are not acting and there's somebody doing well you can what is going on what is happening and the person gets to tell you okay this that or this so that's how it is you can the person can get to affect the people positively by telling them ah no it's not like that okay yes you can actually make it better and make it also look like this um thank you so so much for those points and in case if you are just joining us we'll go for another short break we'll be right back after the break
back and if you are just joining us this is youth in service brought to you from nt and and today's topic is right attitude to work among youth so we've been asking iano some questions so um iano i would like to ask you this question um would you say okay no what are your advice for youth on right attitude to work like my advice yeah. um the advice i would give is that we should be diligent in whatever thing we're doing like i started with people are watching you but you might not know people that you don't even think people that you don't even expect they are watching you and they are seeing what you're doing so the best thing for you is that you should be diligent in what you're doing and the moment and also be be open to learning yes because for the fact that nobody knows it all the moment you get to another place there are new things that you need to learn but the moment you begin to do like I know it all. Younger for everybody. <laughs> they will just look at you and wonder, okay, you know it. So you will not be able to even learn one or two things from there. And you don't, you, I, I think youth now, most people nowadays, they feel that when they go to school and they learn something, they will just come somewhere and think, hey, you, you know it or no. Other people that have been in, that, in the work or in the field, they understand better. So when you're patient, when you calm down, you will learn from them and you even get better. It will add more to your knowledge. So my advice basically is we should be diligent. We should be open to corrections. We should be open to new ideas. We should allow. We should also want to learn. We should... What other advice will I give? We should be committed. Yes, be committed in whatever thing we're doing. We should be punctual. Mm, I think basically those advice will really work and help every one of us. Thank you so Thank much, Ian. So it's yeah. so nice to have you on youth in service today. Thank you. And nice we hope when us to call you, you yeah. answer us. Yes, yes. definitely. Um, <laughs> Ian has said it's all. You should be committed, open punch to your idea, punch out, ideas. and just just right attitude to work opens yeah. new more doors and brings opportunity yes. to you. Yes. And thank you for staying with us. We hope to catch you same time next, next week. week. Bye. Bye.